Hello, hello, everybody. I'm here. Just three minutes late, four minutes late. No big whoop. Ended up going out to dinner tonight, and it took a little bit longer than I was expecting it to. That's a good view. Oh, oh, hey, check it out. Perfect timing, huh? <laughs> Mind me, I gotta take a ring off. So yeah, we joined the Rat Covenant, and I was right. You summon people to your world, and they have to deal with all of the bullshit that you've unlocked using the Lockstones. So we've got a guy. Let's see if we can beat him. He's trying to run away. Hello. I'm sorry about... Oh, that wasn't quite how that should go. Yeah, that's a little strange. To say the least. That sudden teleportation... That's what he gets. And for our troubles, hi guys. Good job. We got a lockstone and a rat tail. Let's go ahead and de equip that. And what should we do? Uh. Let's rock a dexterity ring today, for now. <sighs> so, yeah. You use the stones to unlock doors. Most of the doors so far have been good. I haven't unlocked all of them. That still takes quite a few stones. But the doors I have unlocked here, they all had enemies. And what's neat is when uh, somebody that gets summoned to your world they kill one of these guys, if they drop loot, it drops for you. You get to pick it up, and I like that. Although, it does still make me concerned. What's going to happen after these guys have been killed X amount of times? Like the rest of the game. I think it's 15, maybe 12 to 15, somewhere in there. So, if uh, our little elephant guys get killed by trespassers 15 times, are they gone? It makes me kind of nervous, concerned. Like, we make stuff tougher for them, but then gradually it'll get easier and easier until eventually I'm just having people come uh, trespassing in my world, and it's just me who's here to stop them. But for now... We are doing okay. As you see, I don't think this guy got many of my my helpers here down. Maybe got a couple of the rats. And that was surprising. As soon as I pop in, we got somebody. Uh, it hasn't been that, that frequent. So I, I'm thinking like... Um, God, maybe two in an hour, roughly. Whew. Well, I, I feel good about that, though. Anyway, as you see here, this is where we were hanging out at the start. I like to hide in here so I can see what's coming, and they don't see me. Hey, hey, hi. Hey, Polar Mike, thank you very much for the host. Yeah. I hope you're having a good night. And 
as I was saying, I, uh, I opened this door. It took three lock stones on the right side here, on the left side here, and then right in front. And it opens up three parts of this door to let this guy out to play with any friends. Oh, you're freezing. Was your something wrong with your heat tonight? Let's see what this is. A Santir spear. Ooh, a new spear to look at. Just give me a moment. Okay, so it's a halberd type. Also, I have the mastodon spears, or mastodon halberds. Hmm. Two thirty-three. That's not too bad, actually. If I built that up, that would be kind of nice. But I don't know if I would like its its move sets. Yeah, it's a little too bulky. Oh, uh, well, go get yourself warmed up. It's good to uh, go out for a walk. It's been a little too cold for my taste to be going for walks, but... I should not rock the dexterity ring. There we are. Get under our percentage there. So there was this treasure chest back here. I figured I wouldn't open it. I'd wait for stream. I know, like, you get a little bit warmed up, like you're getting your body moving and stuff, and you start to get warm from moving around, but still, when it gets real cold out... You may have just missed me killing an invader. But I'm going around and just showing the, all the, the places I've unlocked using the lock stones. And here's an interesting little thing. We've got ourselves another little path. Right above is... Oh, I don't have my binoculars on. One sec. But right above this spot is another Pharaoh's door that I opened up. There, he's peeking at us. And that opened this up. Quiet, rat dog. And we go through here. And we've got a treasure chest waiting for us here. So I kind of need to open up all the doors if I want to find all the goodies. Twinkling Titanite, I need that. Thank you. And then it keeps going up. And up. And now we're above quite a few things. Boom. So this is the door that I used to open that up. So it's kind of just like a little secret path. So that's nice. Anyway, I have to remember where it is I want to go from here. I want to go over here. Excuse me. Aside from freezing during a walk, how was your day? This is a trap that I opened up using the lock stone. And there's a door on each side. I used a lock stone here, and it opened up this door where there is absolutely nothing. So some of the doors are troll doors. Also, if you were here last time, there were spikes coming out of the walls. And there was something here that said Visions of Switch, a message. And I said, oh yeah, it does kind of look like a switch. It is a switch. You hit it, and it goes in, and that causes the spikes to come out. So that's kind of good that even after we 
lose all our guys, if we do lose all our guys, that we will still have some traps and stuff to fight with. Here's another one. Spinning buzzsaw chakra. Going across the path there. So lots and lots of little things. This is the end. And we'll be coming back to that in a second, I believe. But how many of these stones do I have at the moment? I have two. And I'm trying to decide how I want to use them. I think I might save them and get one more and open up this door. Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Hopefully, um, I didn't go too over the top with it, with analyzing. I want to leave some kind of mystery. Now, this is interesting. To me, at least. Because the way that you want to get through this is to go over to that bonfire across the way that I just showed. And you can just go to that. So why would somebody take this path, the one that I can set up with lots of traps, when I could just take the other way? What makes that perilous for them. Not a whole heck of a lot. Well, like I said, regardless, I'm going to have to open all these up, make sure I find all the goodies. We're going to a new area today, because there's nothing else for me to do here at the Doors of Pharos, except wait around and, and kill people. So we will be going past here. This was the boss area. Went past the door. But we're going to, oh, what was it called? Brightstone? Here's our, our covenant keeper, our covenant leader. Don't want to drop there. Where am I? I'm, I appear to have gotten myself lost. How did I manage to do that? This is a very small place. I know what I did. Okay. So maybe this isn't what people are trying to get to. Although this particular bonfire is called Ordeal's End. Hmm. Anyway, I want to go in a different direction to find our good pal Gavlan and go beyond him. I guess I'm better off just dropping down, huh? Yeah, okay. Big tumble. If you're still here, I, I hope that the game sound and everything is working tonight. Alright, so this is the way I want it to go. There's Gavlan. I'm very happy he's staying put now, apparently. 
go through here to the least menacing enemy ever. <laughs> and now I can just hit him. Killing these guys because I can. These are not my friends. These are enemies no matter what, if I'm in the Covenant or not. S still really looks like there's something back here. Don't know how to get there if it's possible. It certainly seems like it should be possible. Hi, Devil Hunter. Thank you very much for letting me know. Hope you're having a good night. Thank you for coming to check me out. These guys drop loot all the time. They have like a real nice high drop rate. And now up through here should be the new area. Brightstone something. Mm, yeah, right in there. Just want to take a peek, see if there's any secret doors. Liar head. All right. Bright Stone Cove, Sildora. Looks like a battleground of some sort. Uh, army encampment. Let's see. Those look like the Falconer guys. And then something walking along over there. Hi. Can't tell what that is, but it looks creature-like. And these guys, I'm pretty sure we fought a variation of them before. So let's see what secrets await us in this new land. Bonfire. Oh, that's interesting. That's a whole lot of loot that is uh, surrounding somebody with a concerning weapon. Looks like it's covered in darkness. Beating to a pulp required a head. Ah! Take that, Pergola. What if I just try to get your attention? It's like a pick. Yeah, that guy went right in for it. I'm... <laughs> Other guy going right in for it. Okay, yeah, this guy's not much of a threat then. Hurrah for misfortune. Fine work, man. Soul of a nameless soldier. Soul of a nameless soldier. Large soul of a proud knight. Soul of a nameless soldier. So that little dude was doing work. He killed off a whole bunch of people. And I see something up there. We gotta break that. But first. Oh. Didn't get the backstab. Didn't need the backstab. Because you guys are just as easy as you were. That can't be... Hi. So 
what are these little guys? Now that we're closer. Oh, they're the pigs! This is where the pigs live. I wonder if they're the same kind of pigs from Majula. Sneak into the tents. Make sure there's nobody to ambush me. Make sure there's no treasures to be missed. Mm. We'll come around this way. Oh, 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 oh. Don't do that. Get this guy to drop. Hey, somebody's got an arrow. Remember when I died to the really tiny versions of these guys? Green blossoms. Okay, might be some poison in the area. Hi! I thought there would be guys. And somebody's still trying to get the poke on me. Oh, oh, hello. Ben Hart of Jugo. Wait, 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 wait. I recognize that sword. Hey, stop! No. Now I'm getting two arrows. I think the guy fires two shots at a time. Or there's that guy off in the distance. He wants to walk off of his thing to get to me. Let's help him. We helped you. We helped you get down. You're welcome. All in a day's work. We will summon him when the time is right, but the time is not yet right. I think I've checked all of the tents now. Smooth and silky stones, I need those, thank you. And there's this guy over here. Let's go ahead and try to pick him off. He doesn't care. Hope that wasn't a friend. I hear noises. Ooh. There's another pickaxe guy over there. What am I looking at? Lots of guys over there. Lots of guys over there. Hmm. Down here... Doesn't look... Terrible? Looks like I might be able to get through there at some point. Could be wrong, although... Okay. It's always good just to... See what you're dealing with, right? I hear someone. Why do I hear someone? You hear that too, right? What is...
what is going on? It's coming from this area. Now I don't... Oh, wait. All right, well, thanks for stopping by, Polar Mike. Still trying to remember to get your name right. <laughs> and if you feel like coming back later, I should be here for a couple of hours. This is bothering me that this appears to be making noise. Yeah. If not that, then something below it. Oh. Something below indeed. But there's nothing to be done with that. Now to figure out where the doorway is to this place. Large soul of a nameless soldier. There's a ramp out. Which means you get in here... And not the way that you... You leave. Hmm. Only thing I can think of is I broke my way to get in there. That maybe I could have climbed this. We will see. I am sure I will die soon enough and everything will reload. But we we analyze we explore, we do our best to reduce how much we get hurt. Sunlight metal. Ooh. That was from the dead guy, right? The guy I killed? I wonder if I could farm sunlight metals. I wonder if I could roll into that and not die. This is set up for a reason. Who wants to see me do something really stupid? Alright, let me try just running off of it. A jump's gonna be too much. Boom. Boom. Smart. Mm, hold on. Hold on. Holy water urn. Okay. That I believe that was is a throwing item. So that's what I was hearing was a piggy. And look where I am now. Be wary of chest and short trap. Let's take a look at the blood stain. Okay. Okay. That's not good. Be wary of monster. Oh, bye. want to get a good look at this to see what features I can make out that would indicate this to be a mimic. It is in fact a mimic, but this I don't see any qualifying characteristics that would show this to be looking any different from any other chest. The first mimic I came across, you could kind of see fangs, like teeth. But this time we are not going to get caught with our pants down. We are going to 
find Lloyd's talismans. There we are. And this should, if this is like the first Dark Souls. Ah. Dark leggings and a staff of wisdom. I'm still very upset that I missed out on whatever the first mimic I came across was holding. Because that's some bullshit. He died after I died. He poisoned himself to death. And since I died and the, le the area reloaded, the, the stuff that he dropped was gone. That's annoying to me. So... I'm not letting that go. Staff of Wisdom. 50 Intelligence... Augment Spell Strength. My goodness. That's good for a Sorcerer build, I guess. And we got Leggings. Dark Leggings. There we are. Hmm. Not terrible. Just not. Not Smelter Demon Leggings plus two. Oh. Now the question is, am I going to fight this mimic? And the answer is, of course I am. Because I'm stupid. Or am I? Oh boy, that's not a good place for him to, to end up. Well, we've done it now. He's down to half health. If I'm going to go in here and fight him in a nice closed area, this is a smart thing to do, everybody. smart man oh he can't get through there we are I am a very smart man look at that smart and sexy yep better, better believe it so this is all cleared out and explored Now we can go around this way. Ambush ahead. Be wary of up. Yes, definitely be wary of that movie. It, it, you expect to have a nice... Hey, that's not exactly the kind of ambush I was expecting. Oh, well. Joke's on me. Up is a pretty good movie, but the first few minutes of it, dang, man. Just dang. I wonder. So somebody got themselves killed. Can I... Hey, look at that. Bye. Exactly, Devil Hunter. It's a game that definitely rewards patience and thinking strategy most of the time. Sometimes they kind of forget that. Hey, that's so many people coming at me. Hold on. Sweeping attacks. Striking attacks. Oh. Hold your horses. Horses shall be held. Plain butterfly. Thank you. I need. I definitely needed more of those for the torches that I never freaking use because there's never any use for them. Oh, 
Oh, I thought you were dead. They have some peculiar... Oh, bye. Excuse me. <clears throat> they have some peculiar looking faces. Masks of some sort. You know what they remind me of? Uh, if anybody besides me knows the game Siren, um, there was a really, really good playthrough of it done a while back by a person by the name of Egomaniac. It's a horror game. And the enemies in that game were, like, undead who kept just doing the things that they would do in life. So you'd see them, like, hitting the ground with, like, a hoe. You know, tilling the soil and stuff like that. Kind of reminds me of that, watching these guys with what appears to be a pickaxe just hitting the ground. How is this a sniper spot? Everybody comes at you before you can get to this ladder. Is there something else that I'm not seeing? Hey, there's more of them down there. So they are mining this weird looking stone. I wonder if that's Titanite. And then we've got a doorway, archway through to very interesting architecture. I am not the kind of person that plays horror games, I say, as I'm currently doing in a playthrough of Until Dawn. Survival horror is really the thing that I... I don't like to play. I'm too easily stressed. I'm, I, I'm on edge too much to play them. But I like watching them, and I think Siren is probably my favorite horror game ever. That and the sequel that we never got out in the, the West. The, the third game, the semi-third game, that came out on PS3. Uh, probably not the worst, but I, I don't think it was a worthy follow-up to the first two games. But yeah, either play them yourself if you can, or watch Egomaniac's videos for those games, because he does a, an amazing job with them. That's a symbol of a spider. I don't like that implication. PS2 is has I, an extensive amount of good games. Bug ahead, you say? Wow. Could there be spiders? I never thought I would own as many games for any system as I do for the PS2. I can't remember if I have crossed 100 yet, but it's very close if I have not crossed that yet. If there's one above me, I can't see it. A lot of little holes. Doesn't seem like any spiders are crawling out of them, though. Above, yes. We already took care of that. Because I'm very good. What would you say is, like, your favorite PlayStation 2 game, if you had to pick one? 
You know what? You gave me a flame butterfly. Let's go ahead and light this puppy up. There we are. That way I have that in case I need it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no. You guys weren't supposed to do that. Oh, did I do good? Did I do good? I think I did good. I think they don't like the light. Oh, I did your boy done good. How about that? The spiders don't like the light. Be wary of miscreants. Don't like the sound of that. Bravery required of head. I'm very glad I lit that. I don't. I don't know if there's something that you get for lighting, like all of the things in an area, or like all the things in the game, or anything. I just. I don't want to be missing any of these, just in case, so... Good thing I lit it. Hey, whoa, 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 what are... what? What was that? What did you do that for? Heavy bolt. I don't know what that was even trying to do. But it made me scared. And then I'm gonna... After I light this, I'm gonna just take a quick drink. All delight in the ambience for a moment, okay? Okay. <laughs> 